This video is brought to you by Nano, creators of virtual reality tools for immersive molecular visualization and interaction. Follow the link in the video description to download Nano and explore molecules yourself. Okay, so quaternary structure refers to the functional association or interaction of or between two or more polypeptide chains or subunits. Okay, now many proteins only have one polypeptide chain. Okay, and so they are called monomeric proteins. Mono meaning one, monomeric. Okay, and so they have no quaternary structure because quaternary structure, or for quaternary structure, you have to have two or more polypeptide chains. Okay, now there are many other proteins that have two or more, two plus polypeptide chains, and therefore they're called multi meric proteins, multi meric proteins, and they do have quaternary structure. Okay. Now, depending on the how many um, polypeptide chains make up a certain protein, um, there they'll have an even more specific name. Okay, so uh, like dimers, trimers, tetramers, pentamers, hexamers, uh, for two, three, four, five, and six polypeptide subunits, respectively. So here I've got a little dimer. Um, right there. Okay, and then over here, I've got a little tetramer, right there four subunits. Okay, and dimers and tetramers tend to actually be um, the most commonly seen. Okay. Alright, so now when it comes to quaternary structure, and you have multiple peptides, multiple polypeptides uh, that make up a protein, those multiple polypeptides or subunits are held together by both non covalent interactions and or disulfide bonds. Okay, so, so uh, basically the same things that hold together a tertiary structure can also hold quaternary structure together. Okay. Also, the the, the multiple peptides, uh, or subunits that are part of a protein, um, they're sometimes ident identical, and then other times they're completely different, they're not related at all. Um, they can also function independently of each other, but they can also work together. In fact, there's, a, there's this concept called uh, cooperativity, um, which just to give you this, the skinny on it, um, it's the idea that the binding of a ligand at one subunit increases the affinity at the other subunits, uh, for that ligand. So, um, they kind of all cooperate and work together. Um, hemoglobin exhibits that. So that's kind of the gist of, of, of quaternary structure. A lot of the times the, um, it's not really talked about that much. Uh, but if you have a protein that has multiple polypeptide chains that make it up, uh, it's got quaternary structure, and it's worth considering whether uh, the different, uh, whether the, the subunits are different, identical, related, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching.